At the back of the truck, we do have to engage our battery switch for a generator to be able to start. So we take the orange key, we put it into the key, turn it to the right, make sure that light is on. Take your key out, put it back on your key ring. When you're done with your service for the day, we want to go ahead and turn that key back. Make sure the LED light is off so that way we're not wasting our battery power for our generator and we always have enough juice to start. This white door located here is our fresh water tank fill. It should be a CH751 key. Fresh water fill is here. Hook your hose into this brown bronze nozzle here. It's a quick disconnect fill. <clears throat> when you're done with that, you go ahead and turn that key to the side and shut it off for the day. Our shore power connection, so you can run this truck without running your generator, is right here. It is a 220 twist lock plug. 50 amp is the rating on it and it just flips up and when you're done with it, you close it down into place. This blue hose that's sticking out here is our fresh water drain. What we're going to do when we want to drain out all the fresh water, we're going to open the valve and underneath the truck body here. Go ahead and zoom in on this for me, get under the truck. Go ahead. You gotta come up under it so you can show the valve action. And I'll edit all that. Can you see the valve? Can you see it now? Yeah. Hand us. So we're gonna open the valve right there like that. That's how we open up our fresh water drain. The gas fill up here is for our generator gas tank. So obviously it is labeled gas. This is an 18 gallon gas tank just for the generator itself. The next valve that we've got here is our wastewater valve. This is to empty out our waste tank at the end of the day. To do that, we're gonna go ahead and pull this lever towards the back of the truck. Okay, and it's closed back into place there. On the driver's side of the truck is our propane tank. Once again, it's a CH751 key to unlock this. When you get your propane tank filled for the first time, it needs to be purged and then filled. They're going to open this up here, purge all the old air out of it, and fill it up with fresh propane start your day you go ahead and spin that over to the left when it's done for the day we're gonna go ahead and spin that lever back to the right and that way we don't have propane running through our systems what Tom is showing us now is unscrewing the black knob that keeps the slide in place in transit he is going to go ahead and pull that slide out disconnect the silver piece from the side of the truck and then lower the table down onto its slide. That black knob that he took away from the slide is going to screw right in to the front of the table. Now this is going to give the table more rigidity and allow for you to set as much food as you can on the table. All three tables work the same way. Now, to put the table up, we're going to unscrew that black knob. We're gonna push the table up towards the truck. We're going to go ahead and put that silver piece back in to keep the table from moving away from the side of the truck. Push our slide in and screw the black knob back into place to hold the slide in place in transit. Now that we have our generator into remote start able, we're going to go ahead and come over here to our remote start button. We're going to hold this button down for three seconds. Generator should go ahead and turn on for us. Now we can go ahead and get some lights on into the truck so we can see everything that we're doing. Now when we go through our breakers, we want to go down each line and we want to take three seconds in between starting every breaker. What this is doing is allowing the generator to catch up to itself and provide adequate power at the time you're switching your breakers on. Now, it's the same process, just in reverse, when we want to shut our truck down for the day. We're going to go ahead and go through our outlets, up and down each one. 
shut our lights off fast and to shut our generator off, we'll come back over here to the button. We'll hold the button down, the generator will turn off. As soon as the generator shuts off, you go ahead to let, you're good to let go of the button. And then your gas gauge for your generator fuel level is located right next to that button so you can keep up with exactly how much gas you have in the unit. The purple key is to lock your RV door. The orange key is your generator battery switch. The bronze key is to lock the door to the truck. This key is to lock the generator door inside its compartment. The CH751 key is for your windows, your propane door, and your water fill door. And obviously the workhorse black key is to start the truck.